of sad Hollywood news now from someone who truly was a Hollywood legend. Who are we talking about? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you, nice to have your company as ever today. Hope you're all keeping well. As you know, big fan of old time Hollywood. I don't know about you, but I think there's nothing nicer than sitting down on any afternoon and flicking on to find a great old fashioned movie that you can delight in. I saw one recently called Wicked As They Come, Arlene Dahl filmed here in London and she was going into what's called now the Westbury Hotel but it was billed as the Mayfair Hotel. I'm not quite sure if they changed the name just for those purposes. Fabulous though to see her uh, driving past Buckingham Palace all that sort of stuff. The old-fashioned films are great aren't they because you can look at locations and weren't people far more stylish then? Absolutely. I've been lucky enough as you know to meet many of these great stars of yesteryear including the brilliant and one and only Mickey Rooney. Now Mickey and myself became friends over many years simply because he came over um, to meet Her Majesty the Queen uh, and um, he was very thrilled about that as one can imagine kissed her hand wasn't allowed to do it as he told me many times but he was a great star he'd met everybody knew everybody been up been down and lost fortunes married eight times <laughs> frequently talked about his wife as the current Mrs Rooney must have been slightly off-putting but the sad news really is that um, of course and it is really sad news because his eldest son Mickey Rooney Jr sadly died at the age of 77 last week and I just wanted to share that with you because Mickey himself uh, whatever people say tried his very best as he pointed out to be a good father he openly admitted he wasn't a great father because he was also a superstar at a very young age uh, this particular child was with his first wife a former beauty queen called Betty who we spoke very fondly of. Everybody remembers of course Mickey Rooney being married to the beautiful uh, brilliant actress Ava Gardner but Mickey as I say had been married eight times. What was the relationship like with his son? Well as he pointed out it must have been very difficult to be Mickey Rooney Jr and it was obviously he had a very checkered career didn't really stick at much he tried his very best to be a rock and roll star part of the Mickey Mouse Club and then of course tried to become an actor but when your name is Rooney and your father is that big it truly is very difficult for them to cement their own road. I've met other superstar siblings including Dean Martin's son who was just magnificent very down to earth and seemingly didn't have the same problems as you know uh, Mickey Rooney Jr had. I also remember uh, sitting down with um, Chris Riddle who was a great guy and his father of course was Nelson Riddle the musical arranger orchestra uh, for Frank Sinatra etc. He had a very very normal and level childhood and got on incredibly well with him so it doesn't necessarily apply to all but as Mickey said he felt he'd failed on many occasions as a father but he was busy being Mickey Rooney and later in life he admitted he was incredibly selfish when he was younger and he should have focused on being a father first but as he pointed out hindsight is a great thing. I just wanted to say God bless to Mickey Rooney Jr because whether he knew it or not his father spoke very highly of him and it's very sad isn't it really when it becomes fractious and broken and I'm not sure what the relationship was like in the end obviously we do know that Mickey sadly left this earth with very little money. Uh, a lot of problems going to run around in that time but I do know as I say for him that he did have regrets about himself being a father but of course to a lot of people and I'm sure Mickey Rooney Jr felt this he definitely was loved. Let them both rest in peace. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.